Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, today we will take a look, uh, take a look at the New Zealand dollar, uh, mostly because uh, other currencies we already have discussed recently, so the currency, the Canadian dollar, the statement uh, is not yet, hasn't been yet released from the Fed Reserve, so we are still waiting for results, and uh, uh, in fact it's really difficult to add something new to the our discussion of the Canadian dollar and euro currency so we just expect the results of the uh, Fed meeting. Uh, the one thing that I could say on the Canadian is that uh, as you can see market finally has reached our targets so or it really has moved slightly higher than the FIB resistance and has reached an area around 30 to 70 areas so slightly higher than the, uh, the targets that have stand there and then we have discussed this yesterday uh, has been hit. So right now we just need to wait and see for reversal patients if it will be re if it will be formed, of course. Uh, that's why today we are, will talk on the New Zealand dollar because here we have very uh, attractive and perspective setup that could start to work today. So uh, many investors uh, look at the suspicious on the today's Fed meeting and they do not expect any rate hiking and even no any hint on the possible rate hike, hiking in the nearest future. Not on December, maybe we'll hear some uh, comments that sometime in the next year the rate will be uh, raised by, but right now it's not the time for do this. So, and I think, and, and, and I think that also uh, that today probably we could get really dovish comments from the Fed because it, uh, I have just explained my position yesterday so uh, that uh, currently we see the mixed uh, fundamental data we see the uh, chill out on the global economy and in this perspective it's not really necessary any necessity to rise rates in the United States so that's why uh, potentially the comments not really small chances that comments will be dovish not just uh, that the Fed will leave the rate intact but really some dovish comments could come and if this really will happen this could be the chance for us to, to take the trade on the New Zealand dollar because this setup probably will start to work right after the comments will come so take a look at the weekly chart on the New Zealand dollar we have discussed the setup already but right now it's ready for to start and uh, this setup calls us the brand butter sell trade on the weekly chart uh, so maybe market will start it's really simple uh, with the downward action here but I suspect that market could show some another spike up uh, based on the dovish comments of the, from the Fed and only after that could start move down. Maybe this will happen immediately at the same session, maybe it will happen till the next uh, till, uh, within the week, till the end of the week but before downward action will start I expect that market could show another top. Now the top could be formed before the real reversal will happen. Here is the reason for that. Uh, on the daily chart, guys, we have this A, B, C bottom pattern. It's a bit skewed, but it's still valid. So if you take a look at this A, B, C, D, you will see that market has hit 100% extension of this pattern, shows retracement down, and and hasn't quite reached the 1618 extension that stands at 69.35 area. So logically, uh, before reversal will happen, market should hit this target and after that turn to the downside. And if we will suggest that comments really will be dovish, in this case, so market really could do this. The spike, volatility spike on the dovish comments from the Fed and then reversal. What is more interesting that if you'll take a look at the 4-hour time frame chart, you'll see that market right now is forming the potential with butterfly. And if we would suggest this uh, upward prediction. This target of the butterfly will stand at 69.50, precisely, almost precisely the same area as the target of the daily ABCD. So, 
as you can see, all that we see right now from the weekly chart to the flower temperature chart, chart we could gather in a uh, logical picture. So we have the weekly brand pada that needs some patron to start. We see uncompleted 161A target and we see also potential butterfly. So by the moving up, for example, on the Fed comments, if this will be dovish, market simultaneously will complete as a reversal pattern that will put the foundation and trigger the downward action based on the and the starting of the brand body on the weekly chart. And simultaneously, market will complete a 161 target on the daily chart. So this logical consequence will be finished here and market turn to their downward retracement. Uh, so that's current view on the New Zealand dollar. So as you can see, setup is not really bad. It's worth our attention. Just look for for our temperature chart, what will happen today. Uh, if no dovish comments will, will happen, the market just will drop here down, so it will be this, you can see, triangle pattern is forming here. Well, that's also is possible. In this case, the brand body will start directly as it stands right now. So it really could happen. But uh, it really could be a really beautiful picture if uh, this will happen by this butterfly. This will be absolutely... Um, Absolutely perfect setup. And this final uh, that will that will involve uh, as the fundamental data from the Fed and the technical picture. It will be just absolutely perfect from the uh, technical point of view. So let's see what will happen. And setup on the New Zealand dollar is really looks nice.